This is currently the least expensive macro lens that I can recommend. And in the past, my number one recommendation was this Laowa 65 millimeter f2.8 lens. Now this is a beautiful little lens, all metal body, all metal build, but it's also a $400 lens. And although that is affordable in the scheme of high quality macro lenses, this lens is a third of the price. And I think for people out there that are not sure if they're gonna love macro photo and video and they just wanna experiment with something, getting a lens like this that's well under $200 is a great starting point. And using this lens, the Laowa lens and the new lens side by side, I probably get about 98 to 95% of the results with the new inexpensive lens that I do with the Laowa lens. So I think you can really use them interchangeably in most situations so you don't really give up a whole lot for the price point. In full disclosure, this lens was provided to me at no cost to myself, but this is not a paid or sponsored video and all the opinions are my own. And when we talk about macro photo, macro video, the first thing I want you to know is it's not necessarily just taking close up pictures of coins or taking pictures of flowers. There is a whole world of things that you can do with a macro lens that you can't do with other lenses. And importantly, I think there is a misunderstanding out there that if you buy a macro lens that you can only use it in macro situations. That means a very, very close focus situation. This is actually not the case. And I've thrown some images on screen now. This lens and 98% of macro lenses out there are usable as standard lenses as well. So this one happens to be a 60 millimeter f 2.8 focal length. When you buy this lens, you're getting a 60 millimeter f 2.8 lens that you can use for portraits, walk around photo, walk around video, travel, all kinds of different situations that aren't necessarily macro. And it works reasonably well for that. But in addition to that, you open up the macro capabilities of this lens as well. So it's kind of a double duty lens. And when we talk about taking macro photo and macro video, one thing I wanna point out is I think a lot of people think of taking a close up picture of a coin or a flower or something like that. But a macro lens is, is honestly so much more than that. One, you don't necessarily have to use it so close that you're getting every little detail on a very small object. You can also use it as a close focus lens, which means that you're not right on top of the object, but you're close enough to the object that a normal lens still couldn't focus. And this is gonna be great for food photography, it's gonna be great for insect photography, it's gonna be great for a sort of model toy photography, product photography. I even use it for my eBay listings, my Facebook marketplace listings. I use a macro lens for pretty much all of those photos because they allow me to get those details. Even when I'm not right on top of the subject or the object, I'm getting close enough that I'm getting a better quality photo. And I actually find that helps me get better prices on both eBay and Facebook marketplace. So when we think about macro shots, I want you to think about getting close to the object, but you don't have to be right on top of it. Anywhere within one meter is where this lens is absolutely going to excel. You can get close and get those super crazy detailed photos that maybe you're thinking about, but even if you back off to like one foot from the object, you're still in a range that an average lens probably couldn't focus, but this lens will. And it still gives you, even though you're not using it as a one-to-one -one macro, it still gives you a unique look that you can't get with a non-macro lens. And even though this is a very inexpensive lens, it's actually exceptionally well built. It has a metal lens mount. Most of the body is metal. The only point on the lens that isn't metal is this sort of ring here, which is sort of polycarbonate or plastic. And I think that's because of the way that they chose to shape it. It would have been harder, more expensive to make the metal in that shape. So they used plastic there. But all of the lens from here up is metal and the lens mount is metal. It also has a very clever design where it kind of tapers towards the front, which just allows you to get close to subjects or objects and gives you less of a chance of shading that subject or object. So I think that is a clever tapered design that they've done on this lens. And you'll find that they've done a similar thing on my much more expensive Lauer lens. It has somewhat of a taper towards the front. This is a 60 millimeter f2.8 lens. It is an APS-C lens, but if you're looking for a budget macro lens and you have a camera that can shoot in crop mode, even if it's a full frame camera, I do still highly recommend this and I have been using this lens like that and the results are excellent. You also, if you do have a full frame camera, to get a cheap full frame macro lens is going to be very expensive. In fact, that really isn't a cheap full frame macro lens. So if you wanna experiment with macro, even if you've got a full frame sensor, 
as long as it shoots in crop mode, I would still highly recommend this lens. And obviously this lens is going to excel at resolving the detail on most of the crop sensor cameras out there now. And there's really only one negative aspect that I can point out about this lens. I don't think it's a deal breaker. I've been able to work with it, but it's something that you should be aware of. And that is, it has a very long focus row when going from one meter all the way down to its minimum focus distance. This makes it very, very easy to focus when you're getting very close to something and you get really fine movement of the lens when you're focusing, which is really critical for macro photo. But once you get to one meter, the throw between one meter in infinity is essentially that. That is one meter to infinity, which is almost nothing. This doesn't make it kind of finicky to focus between one meter and infinity. I was able to do it, but it's not ideal. I think the way they've designed the lens, they have sacrificed that gearing or the way that the lens is set up and they've sacrificed that focusing from one meter to infinity, which still can be achieved, but it's fiddly in exchange for getting that long focus throw in the beginning of the macro mode. Because of that, it does make this a much nicer lens to use for macro than it does for general purpose photography. The other thing that you should know about this lens is it is a manual focus, manual aperture lens, which for me is fine. When you shoot macro photo or macro video, you almost always use lenses in manual focus anyways. It's just the technique and the way it's used, but just something to be aware of. I'll put links to the pricing and all the different lens mounts in the description down below. This lens is made by a company called Mica or Mikey. They actually make extremely high quality lens products, particularly for the price point. And I own a number of their lenses and I really haven't had any issue with all of them. So you are going to get a very good quality product even if it's a name that you haven't heard of. Now going from macro photography to photography of the stars, I've just thrown a video on screen now. This is the best budget astro lens that I know of. If you're interested in getting into astrophotography and you're on a budget, I do suggest that you check out this video.